Last week, I woke up to a text from my campaign's rogue asking this. My immediate response was... But, as I went through the rest of the day, I started thinking about it. How many weapons could you fit in a golf bag? Would that be a viable way to carry weapons? Why aren't all PCs carrying golf bags full of swords? So I decided to do some research. Let's start with what a normal golf bag can usually carry. Seeing as I'm a veritable golf pro, I know off the top of my head that a standard golf bag holds 14 clubs and I didn't have to consult the internet about it. That's a pretty solid start, but as far as I can tell, there are no golf club statistics in the PHB, so we're gonna have to do some equating. According to my extensive experience with golf, the average length of a driver is 44.5 inches, and they're very thin along their length. This is reminiscent of a particular weapon that does have statistics in the PHB. The rapier. Just like there are different types of golf clubs that I definitely know the names of, there are also different types of rapiers, from the late medieval cut and thrust swords to the ones you see wielded by the likes of Zoro and the Three Musketeers, which are likely a bit more like small swords really, but no one likes a pedant. The point is, while it's not a perfect conversion, it's about as close as a weapon we're going to get to the size and shape of a golf club. The weight is a whole nother story, but it's fantasy, so we're rolling with it. So. By this logic, we have a standard golf bag that can carry 14 rapiers, assuming we have the hilts facing out, both for size and also safety. But why stop with just 14 rapiers? Variety is the spice of life, people, so let's get some other weapons in the mix. Unfortunately, the PHP weapons table only has a listing for weight, not for length or width. So we're gonna have to use the most reliable source of info possible, a healthy mixture of internet searches and my own personal experience. Well, I'm not actually a golf pro, I know, I know, hard to believe, I do hold a theater degree, which is not very useful, usually. But, in this circumstance, it opened a door for something quite pertinent to this video, stage combat. I've got a pretty decent number of weapon certifications, and two of them just so happen to involve rapiers. Another one is for broadswords, also known as hand-and-a-half swords, bastard swords, or as we in the Forgotten Realms call them, long swords. Long swords, arguably the most common weapon in D&D, definitely deserve a spot in our deadly golf bag if only because they serve as a perfect neutral weapon. From pure personal experience holding the two weapons, I'd estimate that the standard longsword is just a tiny bit longer than the standard rapier, but significantly wider. In terms of space, I'd quantify it as three rapiers, due to the length of the blade and crossbar, which tend to be more, well, cross-shaped than the swept or cupped hilts of rapiers. Short swords and scimitars, while shorter than rapiers, are still a good degree wider, giving them each a width of two rapiers. Maces are two rapiers, morning swords are four due to all those spikes, and battle axes are six. Thing. Ranged weapons are tricky, as stringed and unstringed bows have very different widths. That being said, what sort of lunatic is running around with 14 unstrung bows in their golf bag expecting to survive bandit country? So we're just gonna pretend bows stay strung. Daggers and ammo can't really be placed in this sort of bag. They're far too small, and digging around blind in the bottom of a bag of weapons is a really good way to gain a new party trick. This problem, like all others, has a solution. Pockets. This system, while seemingly flawless, <laughs> I know, runs into a pretty big snag fairly quickly, and that is length. As long as we stay in the one-handed and versatile neighborhood, we're doing fairly well, but the second we hit anything with reach, it's on the floor the second you make a deck save. The solution, of course, is a bigger bag. Let's say our tried and true rapier bag is considered medium. What's stopping us from making a bag for large creatures? Or goliaths? The amount of space a medium-sized creature takes up in D&D is 5 feet. A large creature takes up 10. So, by this flawless and very precise formula, the large version of our beloved golf bag is going to be twice as long and wide as the original, which is to say, 28 rapiers wide. No golf set is complete without a greatsword, so let's start there. I choose to see the D&D greatsword as an equivalent in length to the real world Zweihander, and since this is my video, that's just a true fact now. Now, the Zweihander isn't too much wider than a typical broadsword, but I'd say since about 90% of D&D players are anime-loving fucks, none of us want a skinny greatsword. So, by this logic, greatsword's gonna be five rapiers wide. Pole arms will likely be making up most of your large bags simply because how thin they are, most of them measuring a meager two rapiers in width, but good luck walking through any doors. When using the large bag, you're pretty limited to two-handed and reach weapons, as anything smaller, much like a dagger, is going to get you a good old case of the Luke Skywalker. Theoretically, you could do this for a small-sized bag as well, but I won't, because fuck halflings. 
Here's a complete list of all the weapons in the PHB that I spent my real human life making, tracking how wide weapons are and how many you can fit in your golf bag of nightmares. It's also linked in the description if you for any reason ever need to use it. God help your DM if you do. According to this very precise science, and absolutely no conjecture, you can theoretically carry a golf bag containing a longsword, a shortsword, a scimitar, a mace, a morning star, and a good old rapier. But why would you?